Castor Stradivarius concertina. Uh, it's in really beautiful condition. Uh, has it's a total of they call it a 104 button. Uh, it's diatonic, uh, and it's a basically a Chemnitzer style concertina. Um, now. From my understanding, these these uh, you know you can get quite a few number of scales out of this because there there's uh, a bunch of accidentals. If you look closely, uh, you'll see that, that basically um, it's numbered for some of them, which I guess for for a smaller concertina that was the original uh, setting, and then of course they added on all the the extras so you could get more scales. And the bass is kind of a uh, an, a mirror image, uh, except you do have even additional um, uh, notes on there. So basically, um, it's a concertina because we're pulling from, from both sides as opposed to an accordion. Uh, this one's a double, meaning that there's there's two reeds that play for each one, and uh, it's octave tuned. So let me just give you a quick idea of how to play this. Uh, it, it is diatonic, um, so in some ways it will play like a melodeon. Um, Although it's a little different, I mean, to get a scale, so, you know, you, you can do certain scales. Five, six, seven, eight is kind of my core tuning, and I, we think it, I think this would be considered an A instrument because that core row plays a full scale. I think, uh, you know, in, in, in general, um, concertina players will will be able to play the full scale in either direction of the bellows. Um, I'm playing this a little bit more like a melodeon style, which it's, it's, it's not supposed to be, but, um, you know, just to give you an idea of what this sounds like, uh, I can at least play some, some things on it. And <laughs>
what's really neat about this verse in accordion is that it's symmetric and that both hands uh, have the ability to to play single notes and in that sense it's a little bit more like a piano that you can kind of pick your own tones and voicings uh, of course there's not as many octaves here but in, in theory you can play uh, quite a number of um, uh, different uh, scales and chords um, and if I were an expert I would play some, some real buttes on this uh, I do know that, that basically the, the, the internal uh, part is great um, all the reeds are sounding, they, they sound in tune and there's, there's no mechanical problems um, you know it, it really is a, a well designed instrument and uh, it's a, again a star Stradivarius uh, it does say star here and uh, Stradivarius I guess is the model um, and I believe the company was a US company that uh, existed for 75 years and closed in 2000 from what I can tell um, and this is a Kiemitzer style concertina uh, double and this one uh, as opposed to a quad would be uh, really a good starter um, if, you're if you're looking to, to get into a concertina I think this one um, would certainly be a, a beautiful one to to start with and then uh, later on to get a quad which will tend to be bigger and has more reeds and, and a full sound um, but this one is uh, certainly a, you know for a collector uh, of accordions or concertinos uh, just the, the sheer beauty of it uh, uh, really speaks for itself just to show you the, the external condition uh, you know opening it up it really does go quite far I mean, it stretches off the camera but um, I mean it is in, in very good shape um, from all sides all the trim is there um, actually it says made in Italy uh, it's scratched in there um, and it does have also basically uh, connectors if you put a like a strap to, to hold it to you um, and overall very few kind of cosmetic scuffs and things I mean it's 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 a used instrument but it's actually quite good um, the other thing is it does have a, a quarter inch jack which will basically amplify uh, the sound if you plug it in and let me just go through all these buttons uh, which I don't know exactly how they're, they're used it would be better if I could play scales but I'll at least go through them concertina um, and uh, just really kind of a beautiful instrument to look at with the air lever here I can open it very quickly it really just opens up very far and uh, you can see uh, you know, just a really nice nice thing to have